high Brent Tech, yeah, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is finally now rolling out the next stable release of the Edge web browser for desktop, which has now been bumped up to version 114. And this latest release started rolling out um, just a couple of hours ago, which was late yesterday in my region on the 2nd of June. Now, this latest um, stable release um, includes um, bug fix updates, security updates, and also includes one new feature update. And uh, um, because we are dealing with um, important security issues that have been addressed, as I always do suggest, it's always um, at first um, important to double check that your browser is up to date because it is your first line of defense. And to do this, as always, we head to the main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if you do use the browser regularly, it will um, um, update automatically in the background. But if it hasn't yet, this process will force the update to version 114.0.1823.37. So that's the latest stable version of the Edge web browser for desktop. And if you are not seeing this um, latest update just yet, um, Microsoft um, does say that the updates will roll out progressively over one or more days, which I'm sure um, if you're not seeing it yet, you will be getting it sooner than later. Now, just to focus on the bug fixes and the security fixes at first. Um, obviously, this is a maintenance update, and Microsoft say they have fixed various bugs and performance issues for the stable and extended stable release. So if you have experienced any issues in Microsoft Edge, just double check that it is up to date. And then just focusing on the security fixes. 13 security fixes have rolled out for the Chromium um, open source project, which the browser is based on. And then we also get two Edge specific uh, security updates that have rolled out for the actual Edge web browser. And then out of the Chromium, the 13 Chromium um, updates that have rolled out, security fix updates that have rolled out, um, eight high-risk vulner vulnerabilities are addressed with those security fixes for the Chromium project. And a high-risk vulnerability, as many of you would know, is your second highest after a critical. So this is a very important security update rolling out. So just double-check that your browser is up-to-date to apply um, those bug fixes and also these important security fixes. Now with the security fixes out the way, just to focus on the one new feature. Now I have actually mentioned this previously. Um, it's the Microsoft Edge Workspaces, which is a, a nice new multitasking feature that has been added. Now um, I have actually posted one or two videos on this previously. And I did post a video over two months ago that the new Microsoft Edge Workspaces was now rolling out in version 111. And we are currently now sitting on version 114. So this has been progressively rolling out over the last couple of versions. And I'll leave this video down below because it will just give you a whole lot of information um, on how to use the feature and so on if you would like some more info. And then also um, if you would like to disable the, Edge, um, the Edge's new workspaces feature. I've also posted a video just over a month ago. So um, you can go check those out and I'll leave both videos down below if you would be interested. Now just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, Microsoft says that Edge Workspaces provides a way for customers to organize their browsing tasks into dedicated windows. And I'm quoting this from the release notes. Edge Workspaces lets users share a set of browser tabs so working groups can view the same website and latest working files in one place and stay on the same page. Each Edge Workspace contains its own set of tabs and favorites, all created and curated by the user and their collaborators. Edge Workspaces are automatically saved and kept up to date. So as mentioned, if you want more info, I'll leave both videos down below as it will give you a whole lot more information if you would be interested. And then over and above that, guys, um, we get two new policies. We get a policy that's been obsoleted. And then we get two policy changes. And that's more or less what's new in Edge version 114 with the key highlight, I would say, say being those security fixes and the new Edge workspaces feature. And I'm not noticing any other little changes as yet. Now, this could change and um, because obviously fiddling around after these major version upgrades, I might notice one or two new features. But obviously, if I do, when it comes to little tweaks and adjustments, I will post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.